I love the, I love Game of Thrones, and so it's always weird for me to meet a member of the cast in regular clothing and with regular yeah, well, hair. Yeah, do you recognize me without the plunging neckline? <laughs> good, make contact with my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you uh, have you have you finished shooting this season already? Yes, we have wrapped season six. I see. A huge cast, obviously. There are a lot of people in the cast. Where do you do you all shoot in the same place, or are you scattered? No, we're throughout? scattered. So um, the only time we really all see each other as a big group is junkets, right. you know, premieres for the new season. So yeah, right. where do you shoot your part? Uh, I'm mainly Belfast, but I was in Spain a lot this year. Actually, I really enjoyed being in Spain. Nice. Well, yeah. is that a bit of a spoiler? Because I think you were in a dungeon the last time we saw you. There are dungeons in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> but why would one need to go to Spain for a dungeon? <laughs> Do people ask you if Jon Snow is alive all the time? Do you get that every day? It was pretty, pretty intense towards the end last year. Now there's been some posters up that um, maybe have given a little bit of the game away. Have but they? I feel like they've made it more confusing. I Are you feel confused? Like Do you want to talk about this? I am confused. Let's talk about this. I, on a number of levels, I'm confused. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because it, it may be, it, I don't know if the term alive would be proper, uh, because maybe he's... Because if you get stabbed that many times, you're pretty much dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know I would be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you like knowing something that the whole world wants to know and, and you have that... But I don't know, because oh, don't? I've been doing this cool thing for the last few years. I watched season one like a fan like you. I, you know, I, I saw Ned Stark um, have his head chopped off and I was like, that's cool, that's amazing. I, right. this, this show's amazing, I'm in. So um, then when I joined them in second season, um, I was like, I want to go back to just feeling like a fan. So I stopped reading other people's storylines. I only read m m the scripts that are relevant to Marjorie and Highgarden. Oh, wow. Um, and King's Landing, so that when I am, when the show airs, I'm sitting on the couch watching it like you. Oh, wow, how about, well, not exactly. I'm in my underwear. <laughs> hey, you need to get to know me better than now. I don't do this show. No, but uh, so, it's, it's annoying sometimes because I'll find myself in the hair and makeup trailer and someone will show up and I'll be like, what are you doing here? Oh, yeah. Oh my God, you're back? <laughs> I, I, I gotta leave. <laughs> yeah, it does make you seem a little bit self-absorbed to not care about any of the other actors. <laughs> Oh, you died? You were killed? I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> but it's good for when you, you know, for I genuinely don't know, so spoiler alert, it helps. So the last book hasn't been finished yet. This no. has been the big story this week. And so are you able to proceed from there? How does that I think, work? I think David and Dan have got it covered. They are going to... I think, yeah, I mean, it's fresh, clean snow for all of us, so... It is, but yeah. you also don't want to necessarily do anything that's going to contradict what comes out in the book. So I yeah, wonder... I mean, they sat down and had a big powwow with George a couple of years ago um, in, in case of this eventuality. I you see. Know, you know, George is a, a producer on the show. Right, so, so he's not working against them. No, they. I, I mean, I, maybe A to B, they go off a slightly different tangents, but B is still B. So they will collaborate and he'll give them maybe some big things to go. I see. Yeah, okay. I think they're all on the same Well, we got that cleared up. I am Jimmy Kimmel.